Now we know in the story, especially in um, Exodus, that Moses' wife is black because uh, his brother um, Aaron and his sister Miriam complained about Moses and one of their complaints was the fact that he married a Cushite woman. Um, Zipporah is not, and I made that mistake many years ago, but Zipporah is not the one that they're mentioning in Numbers 12 and 1. Let's do this here real quick. Let's look at, this is the works of Josephus. And this is um, the in the section of the Antiquity of the Jews, which you see it here. Okay, the Antiquity of the Jews. The wife that they are making mention of in Numbers 12 is this woman here. Tharbis was the daughter of the king of Ethiopians. She happened to see Moshe as he led the army near the walls and fought with great courage and admiring the subtlety of his undertaking and believing him to be the author of the Egyptian success. When they had before despaired of recovering their liberty and to be the occasion of the great danger the Ethiopians were in when they had before boasted of their great achievements and fell deeply in love with him and upon the prevalency of the passion sent to him the most faithful of all the servants to discourse him with about their marriage. He thereupon accepted the offer on condition she would procure the delivering up of the city and gave her the assurance of an oath to take her to his wife. And that when he had once taken possession of the city, he would not break his oath to her. No sooner was the agreement made, but it took effect immediately. And when Moshe had cut off the Ethiopians, he gave thanks to Elohim and, and consummated his marriage and led the e Egyptians back to their own land. Okay. Um, and so you, you see where uh, Mary was punished for that because God didn't like that. Okay. Now, we covered already that this woman was a literal daughter of the king of Ethiopia. Numbers 12, Miriam and Aharon spoke against Moshe because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. Now, here, stop here. I want you to get this. You gotta get this. If you don't get this, you're gonna miss the whole identity of Miriam, Aharon, right, and Moshe. Okay, I'm gonna show you this is a sign, okay? Now, verse 10, Numbers chapter 12, verse 10. And the cloud departed from the, off the tabernacle, and when Miriam became leprous, listen, white as snow, and Aharon looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. See that? So here's the thing you gotta get. Miriam, if Miriam was white, <laughs> and she was turned white, how would that be a sign? Moshe had the same sign given to him in Exodus, right? Exodus chapter four, verse six. This is the sign, you gotta get this sign. And Yah said furthermore unto him, put now your hand into your bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom 
And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. See that? It's a sign. So if Moshe was white, how would it be a sign his hand being white? He said, Moshe put his hand in his bosom, took it out, and his hand became leprous as snow. Verse 7. And he said, put your hand into your bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. So Moshe's flesh wasn't white. It was turned white in the leprosy, just like Miriam was turned white when she did, when she uh, 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 rebelled against Yah's man, and she was turned white, and Moshe's hand was turned white. Okay, um, and so you you seen where uh, Miriam was punished for that because God didn't like that. God hates racism. He hates it. Okay, um, so. Jethro had come after, you know, he had heard amazing things that God had did through Moses. And he was like, I want to come and visit with my son-in-law and see what's up with him. You know what I mean? Um, and of course, Jethro was a Midianite and so was Zephora, but they were Cushite Midianites. So their tribe, their color, Cushite. I'm an American, but technically I'm a Cushite. Right? Um, Edme is from France, but technically she would be a French Kushite. And so Zephora was from Medianite, but she was a Kushite. Make sense? Genesis chapter 25 tells you that Abraham, the father of Isaac or Isaac, it says in verse 1 then again Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. And she bore him Zimran, or Zimran, if you like, Jokshan, or Jokshan, Medan, and Midian, okay? And Ishbak and Shua, right? So Midian is a descendant of Abraham, right? Through his wife, who was a Kushite, uh, she was a, in the Kushite family because Keturah was Keturah was a Kushite, and Keturah uh, and Abraham had Midian. So that would make her what? Zipporah would be a Hebrew. Okay. So the woman in in Numbers 12 is not Zipporah because Zipporah was a Hebrew on her father's side. And in her maternal line, uh, she was a Canaanite from Keturah, okay? But her tribal origin would come from her father's line, which would be uh, Abraham. So she was a Hebrew. 